Well, hello everybody and welcome to day 27 of my beginner sewing course. Yesterday we learned how to make a scrunchie. Today we're learning how to make a tote bag. So a bit of a jump, but I know you guys are up for it. We are going to be following this tutorial right here. This tote bag blew up, so I figured a lot of people were interested in making it. So that's why I chose this one to follow along. Um, I made mine in black and white, which is giving Chanel. I think it looks amazing. I'm really happy with how it turned out. But obviously you can choose whatever fabric you want. You can keep the beige like they did. Or you can choose a more lightweight fabric with a pattern on it. It's whatever you want it to be. So let's get into it. Start by cutting out two rectangles, 18 inches by 10 inches. These will make up the front and back panels of the bag. Cut out another rectangle that is 18 inches by 13 inches. This will make up the bottom panel of the bag. Cut out two straps that are 5 inches by 40 inches. And finally, cut out one rectangle that is 18 inches by 32 inches. This will be the lining of your bag. Fold your strap once and press it to make a crease in the middle. Make the two edges meet the crease and press that as well. Fold the fabric on itself and press once more. Sew along both edges using your preferred seam allowance. Place one of the straps on the front panel so it creates a loop. Place it where you desire. I placed mine at 4.5 inches from the edge. Stitch in the ditch to keep the strap in place, but stop sewing at one inch from the top. That is very important and you will see why later. Repeat this step for the back panel. Place the bottom panel and the front panel right sides together, sewing at the bottom edge of the front panel. Place the back panel and the bottom panel right sides together, sewing at the bottom edge of the back panel. Press all of your seams. Grab the seam allowance and tuck it towards the bottom layer for both the front and back panel. Top stitch the bottom using 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and make sure to grab the seam allowance underneath as you do so. Do it for both sides. Fold your bag on itself right sides together and sew along the two side edges. Grab the inside corner of the bottom panel and make a triangle shape. Measure a 5.5 inch horizontal line and sew. Repeat for both corners. Trim the excess, leaving a half inch.
Fold the lining, placing it right sides together and sew along the side edges. On one side, leave a 7 inch gap, back tacking at the start and at the end of the seam. Grab the corner like you did previously and make a triangle. Sew a line of 5.5 inches in length. Repeat for the other corner. Press your seams. Turn the main layer of the bag right side out and the lining wrong side out. Insert the main layer inside the lining and pin at the top. Tuck the straps inside the two layers and sew along the top edge. That is why we left one inch of strap unsewn before. Close the gap in the lining by top stitching and tuck the lining into the bag. Find the opening and turn the fabric right side out. Either slip stitch the opening close or top stitch to close the gap. Press your seams and top stitch all around the top edge. And there you have it. You have made your very own tote bag. I really hope it went well. I hope you had fun. I hope you're gonna be using it and maybe even making more if you liked it that much. And I would love to see what you came up with actually. So if you wanna tag me on Instagram or just send me a DM, I would love to see your work because this pattern is just so good. So I'm really, really happy. And yeah, I guess I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>